Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're in chapter 6, today verses 12 to 16. Now it came to pass in those days that he went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, and John, Philip, and Bartholomew, Matthew, and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, called the Zealot, Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who also became a traitor. So notice in verse 12, uh, Jesus went out and it says he spent all night in prayer to God. What was he, was he, was this because Jesus was trying to decide who to pick? Uh, I think he already knew who to pick. I think he was praying. I think most of that time was spent praying for the disciples. But it says there was a decision made. But he's praying for the ones that he is selecting. So he already knew, I think, a lot of that. But he makes the final decision. He prays all night. Then he calls them. And then he chooses. And out of these people he chooses, what do you find? Uh, perfected people, people that are at the top of their game. No, we find people who are teachable. Teachable, when you or I think about being the disciples of Jesus, uh, the key point is, am I teachable? It's not like how much education I have or the degree I have or the position I have. It's not about really any of those things. What matters is, am I teachable? Not am I teachable by men, but am I teachable by God? Is there a, an openness? Is there a connection with him? Can God do anything for me? Or am I utterly closed off to God and I'm just going to receive my instructions from, from men? So that's kind of a big issue going on here because if we are not receiving instruction from God, we are not his servants in any kind of way. So Jesus prays for them. And I would think that you should know if you're in the church, if you're a servant in the church, I'm not just talking pastors, I'm talking, you know, all members. If God has called you to be his disciple, if Jesus has called you to be his disciple, he has prayed for you and is continuing to pray for you. He wants to use you in his service and God would also uh, pray for you. He would continue all night if that's what it takes to help you be ready to serve him. So be glad. Jesus loves you. He's praying for you. He wants you in his service. He's called every disciple to be in his service. Here he's got 12 that he calls to be apostles. Apostle means one who is sent. We are all sent, but some are also particularly sent into positions of leadership. Sometimes we assume that the people in leadership are all there because uh, they've, they're all truly from God. But we find that Judas is here in the mix. Jesus allows him to be there, but he knows he's going to betray him. So just because somebody's in leadership, just, just because somebody's a king of Israel doesn't mean they're a good guy. In fact, more times than not, the king was, was trouble. So again, let's be directly in service to God and he'll take care of the rest. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, help us to be your learners, your disciples. Help us to be following your example. You be our leader. And so, Lord, we look to you. Thank you that you pray for all who serve you, and I know that you have even prayed for us. Keep praying for us, Lord. Keep, keep empowering and helping us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, God bless you today in his service.